It's my first wet lap of the year, I think. And it's definitely, well, my first wet lap with this car, so... So lots of trying, seeing what it does like. Running close to the wall. Hey, comrades. Oh, look at that. It's the Ring Mini. And this means one thing, that it's wet laps. That car only goes out when it's wet. And that's also the reason why I'm out, because I really want to do a wet lap and see how... Oh, more friends. Good and selber? Have you already been in the car? No, not long enough. Where was I? Yeah, uh, I want to do a wet lap because... Uh, because uh, because why not? Who doesn't want to do a wet lap? I want to see how the tires perform, how the car performs in the wet. And also I was feeling a bit like me, down, mellow, and uh, you can drink coffee, you can drink energy drink, so I can do a lap over the Nürburgring, right? So let's go, let's go. Hi. In the meanwhile, I want to give a shout out to all these people out there who are maintaining social distancing. There's plenty of distance between the cars and well, obviously it's raining, no one is outside. But yesterday when it was sunny weather, there were like no people together. And I want to also like kind of express my sadness for people who've been posting yesterday pictures on Facebook groups saying like, oh, look at this car with French license plate. So I thought there was a lockdown. Who is this? Look at this, a car with the UK license plate. I thought there was a lockdown. Guys, please stop snitching on people. Some cars are being stored here for like uh, all season long and uh, they're being tested by manufacturers and whatnot. So, but enough with the bad things, we're approaching the the good things, the bad fit, the, the, the best things, I would say, the Nürburgring. So let's go for a wet lap, wet lap, wet lap. Oh, there's Lucas. I'll give him a head start. <laughs> there we go. I don't know, usually I should be talking about some, some kind of topic, but I don't have any updates and... Hmm. Yeah, tractor definitely needs more power if AMG GTR is going away from us. Plenty of grip, that's nice. I'm still a bit conservative with my brakes because they're stuck, so I don't want to like overdo them and burn them out. First wet lap of the year, I think, and it's definitely well my first wet lap with this car. So, so lots of trying, seeing what it does like, running close to the wall. Ooh. I mean, we could hug the curb here, but I prefer to just go opposite. Flat out, no wheel spin. It's really good. I mean, of course, we don't have plenty of horsepower, but... You know what's funny is that uh, when I just bought this car uh, from the previous owner, and it was on a set of, uh, of regular tires uh, in... No, I think it was already on winters. Yeah, it was on winter tires, and I was driving it on public roads in Croatia, and the car would just, like, wheel spin everywhere, and I was like, ah... The previous owner it was just like a cheap guy who didn't want to spend money on uh, on good tires 
and then I came to the Nürburgring the ring and it was like already like minus four here whereas in Croatia it was not below uh, minus degrees uh, and the car had so much grip everywhere I'm like hold up it's not the tires it's a tarmac so I just want to say that Croatian roads are terrible it's like one of the best countries I honestly after spending a few months there I see myself moving there because I love it so much but the roads are just absolutely terrible so but everything else is great and uh, having said that the roads here are good like you can see that there's plenty of grip when you have of course new, new, new tires etc oh, we have a bit of wheel spin we could do some lift off oversteer Actually, I realized I've been pr pretty stupid. I'm talking about the car not doing wheel spin because I'm running with traction control on. Stupid me. What did I say about me not being awake earlier? Well, that's the reason for that. Yeah, switching off ESC in the bottom of Foxhole is probably not the best idea, but... How could the, uh, staying off the curb. Trying to induce some lift off oversteer, but there is not not enough lift off. There's not enough power to <laughs> to have lift off oversteer in the first place. But yeah. Going into Metzger's fell, but yeah, so far so good. And I feel that I'm kind of waking up, so that's nice. Stay on the outside here. Yeah, I can feel the tire sliding slightly. by the amount of grip. Not, not even the ABS is kicking in, that's interesting. Still staying on the outside here. Although maybe technically with relatively new tarmac it's still it's possible to take the dry line but no intention of trying it out. Miss 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 kind of hit because there's a tarmac transition on the left here and you don't want to you don't want to go over it while you're in the corner and upset the car the danger right now that I'm thinking of oh by the way speed limits although the bright side entrance exit is closed uh, there could be still like emergency vehicles coming out so no yeah let's let's just keep it slow just in case yep all good what I was saying the danger currently is is that me driving with such a slow car and saying everywhere oh it's so great it's so like it has so much power it's so awesome uh, I mean it has so much control is that once it gotta have more power yeah, then things gonna start differently and if I gonna get used too much to this then all of a sudden afterwards it's going to be a different story like for example especially in the corners then the car will be oversteering oh there we go first ABS very slippery here usually but staying on the outside good should have probably went into third maybe even but so getting used to the gear ratios but then again going back to the topic yes yeah, so um, always take it easy whenever you're gonna upgrade your car you have to relearn it completely just a general advice and that's something I will have to be doing but then again hopefully the upgrades will come sooner than uh, then I will be getting used to the car Exceptionally good wet tires, I must say. Exceptionally good, as you can see. Uh, could have taken it flat, but... I mean, 
what does flat mean with this car, huh? <laughs> I wonder why they took out the curbstone there. It saved my life once. Well, not my life, but like my wallet from, because I really had to run over it. Also pretty much flat out here. Going into the carousel. I haven't seen many photographers yet, so. Oh, maybe here is one. And two. when I said that there is probably maybe you should stay off I was checking because last time we went on the walk I saw like a massive rubber trail and I said hey maybe we should start taking the the wet line on this section well here is definitely a lot less grip than it was there uh, curb 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 or do not upset the car uh, bit of sliding This one is I really hate in the in the in the wet conditions because you have to run close to the wall but you're going downhill and it's uh. Thank you. Well, I actually don't want to be next to this guy because he's on a dry line now and that's one of the slippiest parts. But oh well. shouldn't be proud of it because usually it's not the point but with this car it's extra you know it's like extra fun points so like oh my god I managed to overtake someone on the lap that's so cool yeah the gearing is it's actually pretty okay but I'm really missing the power with the way that the rear anti-roll bar is set up because well there's not much oversteer or lift off oversteer like in the wet conditions is the best way to see how twitchy your car is obviously and of course I'm holding back slightly but I didn't have any single moment where I would say like oh, oh my god like that's undrivable or too bad so but then again the car is so underpowered but had lots of fun I hope you guys enjoyed this wet lap I'm looking forward to do many, many more. Um, and I hope this also encourages you to come over and have wet laps because as you can see, there is nothing scary about them. As long as you like obviously not push and know what you're doing, know the wet line. And if you don't know the wet line, then hit us up. We can explain you what it is. Um, another fun thing is the fuel. <laughs> I actually refilled when I came back from Croatia two months ago, almost by now. And it has been always uh, has been full ever since. 
cool cars. Should we do some car spotting? Nah, we go home.